Hey, this is Steve from Flowmaster. Today I'm happy to introduce our new Delta Force cold air intakes for the 2007 through 2011 Toyota Tundra equipped with a 5.7 liter motor. Now our Delta Force cold air intakes have a washable, reusable high flow filter that already comes pre oiled. It's got a black powder coated heat shield. It's got a durable polyethylene intake tube with nice rib design and the Flowmaster logo right here in the center. It's got reinforced silicone couplers, all stainless steel hardware, anodized fittings, and it's a direct bolt into the factory mounted locations of the vehicle. Now, the tools for the job are 5/16 nut driver, 3/8 drive ratchet, an extension, 10 millimeter socket, Phillips screwdriver, 3 quarter wrench, 7/16 wrench, and a pair of pliers. All Flowmaster products are dyno tuned during the development phases for maximum power gains and efficiency. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna get this installed here on in this Toyota Tundra. Okay, we're in the shop. We got our 2011 Toyota Tundra here with a 5.7 liter. We're gonna take the stock air box out and get that new Delta Force cold air intake installed. So let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and remove the engine cover. We're just gonna pull up on it. Okay, next we're gonna have to loosen and remove a couple things. We're gonna loosen up this clamp first on the throttle body. Then we gotta remove this hose, and then remove this hose. We're gonna unplug the mass air sensor here. And then we got two bolts that hold on the air box. There's gonna be one bolt right here, and then there's one bolt right here in the back. All right, first I'm gonna start with this clamp here. I'm gonna loosen it up off the throttle body. Okay, next I'm gonna go ahead and pull this vacuum line off. And then next we're gonna pull the little breather hose off. Okay, next we're gonna unplug the mass air sensor. We're just gonna just squeeze the little tab, and pull up. Now we're gonna undo this little clip that's holding onto the air box that holds the wire loom in. Okay, next we're gonna remove one of the bolts off the air box, which is right here. So the bolt will not come all the way out, but actually attach to the air box. Okay, next we're gonna go on to the other side of the air box and loosen that bolt up. Okay. Okay, next we're ready to go ahead and pull the whole air box assembly out. So we're gonna wiggle it off the throttle body first. Now you should be able to just pick straight up on this. It'll come right out. Okay, we've got our stock air box assembly out of the truck. We're gonna go ahead and reuse some parts on this. We're gonna remove the mass air sensor right here, and we're gonna install it on the new Delta Force cold air intake tube. And the other part we're gonna reuse is this little grommet right here. We're gonna pull this off, and then we're gonna reinstall it back onto the inner fender well of the truck. Okay, we got our Delta Force cold air intake laid out on the table. We're gonna go ahead and start with the assembly. First, we're gonna start off with the heat shield here. And we're gonna put on the air filter adapter. Now this is gonna go on the inside of the heat shield here. Then on the back side, we're gonna line up these three holes. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the necessary hardware to hold it on. So we got an Allen bolt with a lock washer and a flat washer. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put on one of the mounting brackets. And this one here has got two bolt holes on top, one on the bottom. This is gonna go on the outside of the heat shield, like so. And with the supplied hardware, we're gonna go ahead and put an Allen bolt through the bracket. Now on the back side here, we're gonna go ahead and put a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. Okay, so it's nice and tight. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put another bracket on the outside of the heat shield. Now there's these two brackets here, they look identical, but if you line them up with this crease line right here, you can see one's just a little taller than the other one. So the taller one here is gonna go on the outside of the heat shield and it's gonna basically go on like so here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put an Allen bolt through. And on the back side here, we're gonna go ahead and put a lock washer, a flat washer, and then a nut. Now we're just gonna go ahead and snug this bracket up. We wanna leave it a little bit loose for some adjustment. Okay. Now the last bracket goes on the back by the air filter adapter here. It's gonna go down below. 
and we're going to go ahead and put a Allen bolt through it. Then on the back side, we're going to put the flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. Now on this bracket, we're also going to go ahead and just snug it up. We're going to leave it a little bit loose for some adjustment. Now on this front bracket, on the heat shield right here, we're going to go ahead and install the little nylon spacer. Uh, this is basically going to push into that grommet that's on the inner fender wheel of the vehicle. So we've got an Allen bolt. We're going to put it through the spacer, and through the bracket. And then on the back side here, we're going to go ahead and put a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. Okay. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and take the heat shield and we're going to go test fit it inside the vehicle so we get the final alignment on this bracket here and then the final alignment on this bracket. Okay, first we're going to start off with uh, the grommet we took off the stock air box. We're going to push it into the hole here on the inner fender wheel. Now the new Delta Force cooler intake heat shield is going to bolt to this mounting location right here. We're going to remove this nut and then the bracket will slide down and then we'll reinstall the nut. And the next one is going to be this hole right here with the supplied hardware in the kit. We're going to go ahead and bolt it down to that location. Okay, we're going to remove this nut. Okay, we're going to go ahead and test fit our heat shield. Now this little nylon spacer is what's going to go inside the grommet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the bolt on this back bracket here. Okay, we got our heat shield in. They're in the correct location of the factory mounting point. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten up those brackets so now we know what the orientation is going to be. Okay, so we've got our, all our brackets tightened down so we know the orientation of where the brackets need to be. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the heat shield and continue to put some more parts on it. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put the gasket onto the heat shield. Now the gasket comes in excess length, so you may need to trim it to fit your heat shield. Okay, we got our gasket on our heat shield. Now we're ready to go ahead and put some parts on the intake tube. Okay, we got the intake tube here. We're ready to go ahead and put some uh, parts on. We're gonna go ahead and put the anodized fittings on. Now after the M here, this is gonna be the throttle body side with the two ports right here. This is for the anodized fittings. So on the one that's nearest to the throttle body here, we're gonna go ahead and put a small uh, vacuum line bar fitting. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down. Now make sure you put some Teflon tape on the threads. And then the one on the inside, this is going to be the bigger barb fitting. We'll go ahead and tighten these up. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install the mass air sensor. It's going to go right here on the intake tube. The stock air box, we went ahead and pulled off the factory mass air. Uh, we're going to go ahead and peel off the stock gasket. We're not going to use this. We're going to use the gasket that's supplied in the kit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and slide it on. Now with the supplied hardware, we're going to go ahead and put the two little screws in. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put the rear and four silicone coupler onto the heat shield side here. Um, we're going to start with this guy. This has got a hump in the center, and it's got a big diameter on one end and a smaller diameter on the other. The bigger diameter is going to go onto the air filter adapter. We're going to go ahead and slide it on and make sure it butts up against the heat shield. And we'll go ahead and snug this up. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put the air intake tube on. And we'll go ahead and just snug this one up. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put the reinforced silicone coupler on to the air intake tube side. That's gonna go by the throttle body. Okay, we're going to leave this reinforced silicone coupler loose so we're going to have some adjustment on the throttle body. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and put this back in the vehicle. Just going to slide this into place right onto the factory mounting points. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and bolt this thing down. Okay, we got the heat shield securely mounted down to the vehicle. Now we're going to go ahead and slide this onto the throttle body and go ahead and tighten it down. 
And next, we're going to go ahead and tighten down the rest of the clamps. Next, we're going to go ahead and connect the vacuum line and the breather line. So the vacuum line is just going to slide onto this barb bin. Now, the breather line here is short. It won't reach to the barb fitting. So in the kit, there is a supplied new breather line with two clamps on it and an anodized fitting that's got barbs on both sides. So we're going to go ahead and slide this into the factory breather hose here. And we're going to slide the clamp up, hold it in place. Now the new hose that's in the kit, we're going to go ahead and slide it on to the barb fitting. And with a pair of pliers, put on the new clamp. And now we're going to go ahead and put the other end onto the barb fitting on the intake tube. Okay, we got our clamp in place here. We got our clamp in place on the barb fitting. Okay, now we're gonna reconnect the mass air sensor. We're gonna go ahead and push it down to here it snap. And next, we're gonna go ahead and install the air filter. Okay. Now we're ready to put the engine cover back on. Now it hinges here in the back and it just drops right down. Make sure you snap it in place. Okay, that concludes our installation here on our Delta Force cooler intake for the 2007 through 2011 Toyota Tundra equipped with a 5.7 liter motor. The installation time on this was roughly about 30 to 45 minutes.